Thank you all very much. It's a pleasure to be here. First things first, though, I'm going to need some audience participation for my Instagram story. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> OK, cool. Let's get started. I like to set amount of time. All right, so my name is Benton Munyon. Uh, over the last four years, I've been spending every waking moment um, thinking, studying, learning, developing, networking, creating, and otherwise innovating nutrition products that positively impact the 60 trillion cells that make up the human body. But we have an issue. We um, deal with this thing called the standard American diet. It's full of processed carbohydrates, high sugar, and uh, things that otherwise just simply do not make us well. I hate to bring this up because we all know it, and yet nothing really changes. Every year since 1960, we've gotten more and more obese, and yet we all know this, right? One third of Americans are obese, one third of Americans are overweight, 18% of our children are overweight, and it's not cool. We get bigger, and the medical industry continues to profit. That's why they're in business, can't hold it against them, but nobody's really asking the real question of, are we treating the cause, and are we not just treating the symptoms? Things that used to be kooky are no longer kooky. Over the last five to 10 years, we've seen a rise in what we used to laugh at. For example, gluten-free, juicing, non-GMO, organic, paleo, you name it. 10 years ago, we laughed at these concepts, and today, they're respected. We're witnessing modern day evolution. We're getting smarter and we're adapting. When, life's, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. My generation was given chicken nuggets and I don't know how to make chicken nugget aid. <laughs> so we're just figuring it out. What I'm here to talk to you about today is fat. What I believe is the next most important thing in nutrition. We have wrongly diagnosed as fat being the issue of the graph I already showed you oh so depressingly. Fat is, um, our brain is 60% fat. When we're born, our brain is virtually the same size as it is today. The brain loves fat. Carbohydrates and sugar dehydrate the brain, and yet we think that fat is our issue. We need to be eating more fat. The food pyramid, what we learned in elementary school, is simply wrong. Using fats sparingly is not advised, and having carbohydrates as the base of a healthy diet is just simply not accurate. Lastly, fat is close to nature. There's nothing that is a healthy fat that is very processed. A healthy fat is a vegetable. It's a seed. It's a nut. It's a fish. It's an animal. There's very little process involved with eating fat and assimilating it. The truth about fat is that it supports all of these things, namely body composition. When you eat fat, it's super scientific and I don't want to get too deep into it, but when you eat fat, it's very hard to oxidize. So you're in the process of burning fat as fuel much longer than you're in the process of burning sugars and protein as fuel. So because of this, you're burning fat as fuel and you're storing muscle. Burning fat for fuel when you eat it, storing muscle. That's an important theme here. Heart health, brain function, hormone health, skin and healthy hair, among other things with a high fat diet. But don't take it from me. Dr. Jeff Folick, who is super well renowned, he's been studying low carb diets, high fat diets, performance enhancement, doing these types of routines, has a quote that I'll read to you briefly. By continuing to provoke fear about the harmful effects of saturated fat, Americans have decreased their total consumption of saturated fat and replaced those calories with an even greater amount of carbohydrates. This dietary flip-flop of trading away saturated fat and replacing it with carbohydrates has occurred in the same time interval as the rates of obesity and diabetes have rocketed skywards. That graph from the 1960s is the same time frame which we've started eating more carbohydrates and our obesity has skyrocketed. Fat is not the issue. This might be coincidence or more likely it's an extremely unfortunate unintended consequence. At Helio, we don't believe it's a coincidence. We think that fat is good, and the Department of Health and Human Services agrees with us. For the first time in their organization's history, in their dietary guidelines, they've now actually recommended Americans begin to eat more fat. So Benton, you're telling me I should eat more fat and less carbohydrates. What if I ate only fat and no carbohydrates? Is that a bad thing? Can I eat too much fat? No, in fact, that's kind of the objective. When you eat so much fat and there's a lack of carbohydrates and blood sugar, you enter a metabolic state called ketosis, where your body burns ketone molecules instead of blood sugar molecules. 
What happens in ketosis is amazing. Cognition is on fire. You have more efficient energy back to the oxidation thing. The ketones are just a cleaner fuel. And like I said, with the desired body composition, you're burning fat and you're storing muscle, the opposite of what happens in an unpreferred diet. So briefly, what are ketones? Ketones are the only secondary fuel source to glucose. Typically, probably everyone in this room, barring a few exceptions, is running on glucose right now. Um, there's two molecules that you can run on, glucose and ketones. Ketones are produced naturally in the liver in an absence of blood sugar. Uh, of blood sugar. Typically to burn through all your blood sugar, it's a 36 to 48 hour process to get into ketosis. But this gentleman that I'm standing with, Dr. Dom Diagostino out of USF, who's featured in Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss on page 27, uh, has, <laughs> he's legit, uh, he has uh, duplicated this ketone molecule, this pure energy molecule, and made it available in a supplemental form, an ester liquid and a powder um, and a powder supplement. So I learned about all of this. My brother and I, we've been in nutrition for a long time, and we learned about all this stuff, and we're like, dude, like, uh, there's no other option. Now that we know, we gotta eat high fat, and we gotta take beta-hydroxybutyrate ketones. Like, there's no other option. So we started doing it, and we felt amazing. We were eating high fat lunches, high fat dinners, we were taking supplemental ketones, and lunch and dinner were really easy, but there was no good breakfast options. There was nothing for breakfast that was high fat, that was convenient, that was alkaline, that was high vibe, that was just get you out the door convenient. So we made something. Dawn, the ultimate breakfast. It's a 50 ingredient smoothie blend. It has, keto, it has ketone molecules in it. It's got 25 grams of plant and algae fat, 25 grams of plant and algae protein, full dose, like I said, of beta hydroxybutyrate ketones. It's got 10 servings of vegetables, which is more than your entire daily requirement in one meal. It's got a full nootropic stack for brain cognition, all coming from herbs. Uh, three grams of net carbs, which is very low, and three grams of sugar. This has not been thrown together. It's been in R&D for over a year, and I'm pumped that now we're sharing it with you. So. Um, these are a couple examples of what a Dawn smoothie looks like or a Dawn bowl. We advocate the best way to take it as a smoothie bowl. High fat, high protein, low carb, low sugar smoothie bowl. It's delicious, it's intelligent, it's nutrient dense, it's got a high vibration. What's next? So our objective now as a company is to grow our monthly distribution to 555 monthly customers. At that level will be a million dollar business. I feel like things can start getting fun. We um, are hoping to start launching partner locations, places that you can go in and order a Dawn Bowl off of the menu. Smoothie shops, coffee shops, juice stops, et cetera. We don't wanna go retail, because we want this is a curated product. There's a little bit of education to it. So the retail partnerships that we do want, we wanna have um, you know, as a menu item. And our distribution strategies are through Amazon and Instagram. So uh, it would be awesome if you connected with us. Our Instagram is helio.today, I am Benton Munyon. Our Facebook is Helio Today, and for more information on the product and the company, please visit our website. Uh, the today is instead of com, there's no com at the end of it, www.helio.today. Thank you guys so much for your ears. Uh, that went faster than I expected. So <laughs> I, I am now, uh, would love to accept any questions and go into more detail. <laughs> For sure. You want to, yeah, thanks. Um, so we manufacture it at an amazing laboratory called Amerigo Labs, and it's just so convenient that he's standing by our packaging solution. Uh, no, this wouldn't, this wouldn't have happened without Ralph Macer, so please give it up for the man himself. Really, like, I've had, a, I've had an extraordinary amount of help, and I owe Ralph a lot. So uh, we ship out a month's supply, comes in a really nice orange box. And um, so inside uh, is, uh, this is what a meal looks like. Five by seven envelope, 93 grams of powder. Um, we manufacture it all by hand. Uh, effectively, we source all the raw ingredients. They come in, we mix them, we mesh them, we put them into a powder auger, flip the auger, take it out, put it through a funnel, fill the bags individually, compress, heat seal them, throw them in the box, ship them out the door. 
that the only addition would be to that. Um, and I, I, I'll honestly say I didn't spend a lot of time on the website, but obviously it was my research, so I spent about as much time as I normally did. I saw it on Facebook, I saw an advertisement. I spent some time on the website. The one thing that I, I didn't get immediately is how it worked. Like physically, like when I get the packet, what do I do? Do I, do I add it to something I'm already eating? Is sure. it, you make just a sole milkshake out of it? Um, exactly how that process works. It's simple, I got it now. Um, yeah. That's the only thing that I noticed when I was looking through. Excellent. Our original objective was actually go m more of a like soylent route, like prepackaged in a bottle, drink it anywhere kind of thing. Uh, but I, I, I didn't feel like after we launched, I realized that I wasn't giving the consumer enough credit. People have three minutes to make a smoothie and make it a much better experience. So we've gone with the prepackaged. Um, but like, for example, if you're on the go or you're camping or hiking or whatever, uh, putting in a water bottle and shaking it is totally awesome. I had that this morning. Oh, absolutely. And the logistics of moving power around. So much easier. Yes, sir. Yeah, so um, I had a buddy bring me a package of stuff. I think you might interview him in Bobby Grocer to start the news. And he's like, hey, try this stuff out. I'm like, sure. I love my morning smoothie. Like, Sweet. You see that you go to areas that you want. I love all that stuff. Yes, sir. The one thing I noticed is it had that artificial sugar taste, whatever the stevia or something. I don't know if that's in there. So I'm curious to talk about maybe what those ingredients are to do that. And also, how does this compare to like, the craze of Soylent. Sure. So, um, yeah, I knew Soylent was going to come up at some point. They've done a really good job at creating, like a, 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 creating an industry around future food. And what they've done as a concept is really interesting. Hey, like, we can get all the nutrition we need if it's just formulated correctly. Um, I have a couple personal issues with Soylent. Just I wouldn't consume it. Uh, it's soy protein, which isn't good for men at all. Um, it's got estrogen in it, which is kind of the opposite of testosterone. So I wouldn't advocate Soylent for men. Um, uh, just back to the matter. Uh, or soy, by that, you know, while we're talking about it, or soy. Men should stay away from soy, is my belief. And um, uh, among other things, it's high carb and it's high sugar, and we've gone the high fat. We're kind of the opposite of Soylent. Um, and to the uh, flavor taste, we've uh, flavored it with some stevia um, and uh, monk fruit so that we could keep the real sugar down because we could, you know, we could jack it up with sugar, but that defeats the whole purpose. So um, we've actually, one of our mottos is always in beta. And so we're always testing and we've got um, another formula with zero gram sugar uh, that is coming along quite nicely. And um, it's got a smoother, more rich taste. Uh, and, and this is a little bit of a sweeter taste, but um, our objective, my objective when formulating this was like, okay, I know exactly what I want the nutrition to be, and let's reverse engineer off of that. Not, let's go for a good taste and fit what we can in. It was exactly full days of vegetables, high protein, high fat, low carb, low sugar, BCAAs, nootropics, that kind of stuff working backwards, and then we flavored it how we could. I'd like to officially put my name in the bucket to be a beta tester. Cool. So you just put it on that <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Uh, the other question I have for you is coffee. Like, a lot yeah. of people are drinking coffee. People drink caffeine. It's an addiction to some degree for energy. Um, do you drink coffee? Do you suggest it? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, great question. I drink coffee from time to time. I used to drink it a lot more. Um, I have two knocks on coffee, and I have one solution if you're just simply not going to give it up. So my two knocks on coffee are it's acidic, and uh, wellness is a synonym to alkalinity. Alkalinity is a synonym to oxygen. Oxygen is a synonym to living a long time. So if we reverse engineer that, acidic kind of shortens our life quality. Um, and uh, caffeine is a stimulant, um, which just fries our adrenal glands. And I believe that energy should be produced from within and not relied on from external sources. So uh, that's kind of my two cents on coffee. But that doesn't change the fact that it's delicious and it's awesome and we drink it, you feel good. So what I do with coffee <laughs> is, um, there's a gentleman, uh, actually, on the first slide, one of the pictures was with him. His name is Dave Asprey. He started Bulletproof, and uh, Bulletproof coffee is this idea of putting fat with your coffee. And so I have uh, two moderations of Bulletproof coffee that I do. MCT oil, which stands for medium chain triglyceride, which is a medium chain of fat that can't be stored. So it's either burned or it's pooped. And so that's why if you do too much MCT, you get digestive issues. But if you do the right amount of MCT, then you're burning it instead of anything else. So I'd like Bulletproof coffee. Some people like putting butter in with it as well. Um, but in replacement of the alkal uh, for alkaline and no caffeine. I've been doing um, bulletproof matcha recently. So it's a nootropic style green tea, and I put MCT in that, blend it up with some coconut milk or almond milk. But I know that there are people who won't give up coffee, so my recommendation to you would be buy some MCT oil on Amazon for 17 bucks and, and uh, put some fat in your coffee. 
Absolutely. So nutrition is absolutely, it's a, it's a crowded space. There's a lot of people who, um, who want to be involved in nutrition. I think it's a big market for good reason. Right now, we're experiencing the wellness revolution. You've seen the statistics on unhealth, and I think that over the next 10 to 30 years, we're going to experience a revolution into health, and I think a lot of large companies are going to be built. So I'm a supporter of lots of companies in this space. Uh, ketones themselves are a differentiator, like leaps and bounds ahead of anybody else, like a Soylent or something like that. Ketones puts us way far ahead. And then if we look at the ketone competition, what our original belief around ketones was is that just BHB molecules by themselves are rather hollow. Yeah, it's going to suppress your appetite. Yeah, it's going to give you some energy. But I come from a world of internal cleansing and plant medicine and herbal power and things like that. And I realized that there's a lot of micronutrition that you're missing if you're just fasting all day on BHB. So what uh, the combination of this putting us so far ahead is kind of the science and nature component where we can jumpstart ketosis, but we're also prioritizing vegetables and detox and alkalinity and things like that. Over here. Yes, sir. I have two questions. First one, ketones um, concerning a diabetic. Yes. Is there a concern that you can have too many? Yes, uh, that's called ketoacidosis, and ketoacidosis is a 911 call. Um, a diabetic that got ketoacidosis, they would have a millimolar, which is kind of the reading level, a millimolar level of, level of blood ketones over 15 or 17 or 20, and that's dangerous. Supplemental and nutritional ketosis is 0.5 to 4 millimolars, and we're sitting around walking around at 0.0. .0. So just getting up to 0.5, 3.5, some friends and I have been experimenting with fasting and supplementing just BHB by itself along with our meal, and we've gotten as deep as like 4.5, 5, but way far away from the danger zone. But for diabetics, that's an insulin blood sugar type of issue where they're so reliant on carbohydrates and sugar that uh, a switch can be um, interesting. And that's one of the main reasons why we've been formulating this second product is so that we can monitor insulin and blood sugar while that switch occurs because we know that diabetics need this more than anyone. Excellent. And second question. You said you were going to put it in retail, right? So have you considered the direct sales model? Yes, um, I have experience in direct sales, back-to-back uh, -back years, 2013, 2014. Um, some friends and I, we all did over seven figures in direct sales ourselves. And so um, that was really my first experience in nutrition and, and distribution. So I believe in that model massively. The trick about uh, launching something like that is you, it grows very quickly and you have to have the capital to uh, withstand. And so one of our objectives now is becoming a million-dollar business and then having the cash flow where we can turn on a nationwide affiliate program. Uh huh. There's probably 90% of the people in the room that have either been on a diet or a health craze over the last 20 or 30 years, so you're in a pretty good market. Yeah. My quick question you found in the G 555 people to make a million dollar income. That's $1,801.23 a month. Is that correct? What makes you a million dollar company, 555 people, unless that's your actual cost? No, 555 people buying a month's supply, which costs $150, which is 20 meals at $750 each, same price as Chipotle. So it's $150 monthly subscription, 555 people doing that, it's $83,000 a month in revenue, times $12 million a year. Question down Yeah. Hey, I was just wondering, uh, we, we were talking about the nutrition market is huge. How did you validate your idea? Like, how did you say this is the thing that I'm going to create and people are going to buy it. How did you work with that? Yeah. Uh, probably 80, I want this, so I'm going to do it. 20, I think people might like it. Uh, because for us, it was scratching our own itch. It was like, there's no good breakfast. And everybody should eat breakfast or does eat breakfast. And so we have an opportunity that if people don't know they want it, we can educate them on the fact that they do want it. Question back here. Wait. Yep. First of all, I just want to say the product's awesome. I had a couple of recipes in my own, I tried it out. Um, but I had a question for people who are more on the go. I understand that a shaker bottle is very convenient and like the mix mixes up really easily. Um, have you ever thought about doing like bars or stuff like that that's kind of like you just pop it open and it's good to go and you start getting the benefits, not necessarily like 
the 25 grams of fat from regular protein, but like kind of scaling it back to be a, a more of a like a quick snack that is extremely beneficial because you know we look at Cliff bars or like things of that nature, but they're just a little bit higher in sugar than most people want it, or like the artificial ingredients, but no you know they're a sacrifice with a product that can be beneficial in that aspect. No doubt. Um, we've discussed and actually tested some uh, high fat bars, um, bonded actually with some of the Belser's uh, gluten free syrup. So we've, we've, we've uh, tried a few things, and I totally believe in like some macadamia, almond butter, like really awesome bars. So they're coming. It's just, you know, a simple matter of like where do we start and how do we scale. In 10 years, we'll have everything under the sun, like the sweetest product line on planet Earth. But for now, we start with breakfast. Russian yep. Hi, I'm Christina. Really nice presentation. I have two, two questions. The first one is, are you targeting the global nutrition market or the sports nutrition market? And the second one is, you mentioned that you're going to utilize the social media, Instagram, Facebook, and so on. How are you going to increase your database? Are yeah. you going to use influencers or any yeah, other strategy? Awesome. Thanks for your presentation last week. I enjoyed it. Um, and thank you for your question. Uh, definitely the global nutrition market. Um, I don't really see any uh, preference versus you know, demographics or others. Um, so anybody that eats breakfast, which is everybody. Um, as far as Instagram, we have a couple strategies. We film and record and document everything. We're uh, loyalists of VaynerMedia and Gary Vee and just kind of that whole idea of authenticity and just a simple storytelling kind of manner. Um, and then also in like 80 that and then 20, like, you know, there's always that like nailing the algorithm component where we're going and finding relevant hashtags, people that are talking about things that we're already talking about, automating simple processes, stuff like that. So I think we have a good grips on it. One of the things that is just difficult about doing this is a couple lucky breaks and some people talking about you. We want to do influencers. I'm on a podcast tomorrow, which I'm pumped about. This guy's got half a million Facebook likes. So like events like that, that I hope will propel us faster than they do slow. But uh, we're also totally um, committed to just grinding it out. Question to Greg? Yeah. Benton, great job with the I like the product, it seems really uh, interesting to say the least. You had mentioned Thanks. earlier about, you said 555, you have 555 customers per month, correct? And you're charging her fifty dollars a month for what? This, 20 meals, 750 a meal. $750 a meal or $7.50 a meal? $7.50 a meal, that's okay, so pricey. And how many guys are you working on this with currently? Uh, Jack, Ralph, wave. Ryan, four of us. Okay, what's your profit margin? That's the biggest question. Uh, if you have a relevant reason for asking, we can talk privately, but like, not gonna really disclose. Um, it's business, and we make money, and uh, that's you know part of it. But uh, our main objective is helping people, and so like that's kind of what our forward message is all about. Question back here. That's awesome. Uh, we are a couple guys, no basement though. Uh, we like were lucky, the stars aligned, and we collaborated with uh, Ralph and his wife Carol, and they've got a 6,000 square foot manufacturing facility. Um, they just had an organic inspection a couple weeks ago. They did an FDA inspection. I mean, it's top notch, clean, total up and up. We wear gloves, hair nets, beard nets from time to time. Um, so we are scaling appropriately and we know what the next level looks like. And, um, you know, like I said, it's like we're in this for quality and for actually making a difference. And so, like, we're not interested in putting dirt in a bag and making people pee. Like, we actually want you to feel it because retention. And it was so much easier to sell 555 things month over month to people that love it, the thousand true fans philosophy, than it is to be spinning wheels, getting new business, talking to new people. Like, it'll run you ragged. So I'd rather just work with people that, like, really dig it. And so we have to go above and beyond to do that. Question down front. What's up, man? <laughs> All right, so this is not necessarily a question. I mean, he did it already. You kind of answered it with the bars and things. I thought that would be excellent. I really just wanted to let everybody know, for me, for me, a fitness addict, this is like one of the best products on the market. 
first time I tried it, I mean, I called him and let him know I had so much energy for the day that I was just ready to do so much. And so it smelled good coming out of the bag. And it smelled <laughs> all I mean, I thought I was having pancakes and everything. I mean, it was great. <laughs> so, you know, I just want to let everybody know this is a great product and this man really knows what he's talking about. And it does, it, it does justice for your breakfast, especially on the show. Thank you. Yeah, so um, please follow us on Instagram. Uh, we really want to just grow our social presences. Um, we really have three objectives. Grow our social, increase our customer base, and get connected with people who can help us grow our customer base via retail outlets, coffee shop owners, co-working owners, juice shop owners, et cetera, and Instagram influencers, doctors, physicians, chiropractors, nutritionists, people that are going to advocate for us. So buy the product or tell someone that can get us to find people that will buy the product. Give it up again. Thanks.